Hey, what is up guys? It's Nemo from Nemo Coop and uh, today I'm just going to quickly show you my Fire TV stick from Amazon. Uh, it's basically it's loading up. I've just uh, restarted it. Um, I've got a couple of apps installed on there, but the main point of me getting this uh, Fire Stick uh, was basically to play around with uh, with Cody, the the newer version. So that will be interesting so let me quickly show you what I've got so I've, I've side loaded a couple of apps from the my Windows machine and from my Mac machine just to try and they're both working fine uh, so those are the apps that I've got currently installed I mean the, the main ones are basically uh, the ES File Explorer which I'm using sometimes to track on what files and apps I've installed and if the files have been cleared correctly. Uh, Splash Top, uh, which is basically to uh, remote access um, machines, let's say my Mac or my uh, Windows machine from the uh, Fire, Stuck, Fire Stick. Um, Mobile Go is an app that I'm using on my uh, Windows machine to transfer files without the need of uh, without the need of uh, connecting uh, via Wi-Fi I guess you just plug the stick directly to the to the Windows machine and uh, you can transfer the files directly from that to side load applications such as uh, Firefox or Flash Player and things like that so Kodi is the main one we've got installed so the app I'm using right now it's called uh, Firestarter uh, I will put a link uh, in the description to download it and whenever you start the uh, Fire Stick, basically it loads as well. It's it's the first thing that's going to be loading, or one of the first things that's going to be loading when you start the Fire Stick, and that allows us to configure something uh, within the app, which will allow us to start. Um, if I can focus, to start basically. Um, to start Kodi using the home button from the Amazon Fire Stick remote. So I'll quickly show you where that setting is. So you have to go to uh, settings to find the app basically. Uh, all the apps that you've, you've downloaded will be in the application uh, section of the stick. Um, and so we'll have to go to manage installed applications and there you will see I'll just skip it. So fire starter. So I'm gonna just quickly show you guys. So basically, this app allows us to, um, if you go to settings, to uh, change when you click on the home button. So the home button from the remote. When you click the home button, this middle button just below the cursor. Well, basically, you know the one that has the home sign, right? So when you want to double click on this home button you can set what app you would like to run so from for this case I want when I double click on the home button that the Kodi uh, app load automatically so let's just show you guys so I'll just go back uh, press the home button once to just go back to the main um, uh, the main home interface of the Amazon Fire Stick and now if I double click you will see that it's now loading Kodi so this is version 15.1 uh, or 15.2 uh, it says 15.1 but the logo for some reason was showing us 15.2 and this is a customized version um, that, I've, uh, that I'm using now and you can see it's very very impressive it's got all of the add-ons that I can probably use ever uh, in this in this life or the next and uh, so you see that it's got a lot of things uh, Sky Sports uh, favorite music movies TV shows uh, live TVs it's incredible live TVs you can actually see a lot of uh, the channels uh, cartoons 
um, documentaries, sports, uh, you know, exercise, and whatever else. Uh, and uh, this is probably going to be another video where I'll show you how to do that. Um, but uh, I hope you like it, guys. I'm just going to exit from there uh, by clicking the home button. So that was it. Uh, just a quick uh, view on my uh, Amazon Fire Stick. If you like it, please subscribe, uh, thumbs up, and comment. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, maybe on how to sideload, how to use. Uh, different apps and what are the best apps I guess uh, which I'll probably cover in the next video along with the uh, installation of Kodi and the installation of the wizard uh, with all the add-ons and customizing add-ons to have all the best view within XBMC. That's it. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.